Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Molo the Barber here. And I just wanted to um, invite y'all on this barber journey that I'm going on. Um, this is my station. I'm here. I'm in Florence, South Carolina at Top Notch Cuts and Style. Just to give you a little um, background on where I come from as a barber, I started school at uh, a place here in Florence uh, about about five months ago, and I I enjoy cutting hair. I really like doing it. I was in school, so I was cutting for free. But you know, I'm a grown man and have a family to take care of. So it was very hard for me to balance working full time, working two jobs full time, and still, you know, being able to go to school and cut hair and not make money. Now, I've been cutting for a long time. And uh, I got better with techniques that I learned in school a lot faster than I planned. So, I started to ask around and I found out about an option that you have um, in South Carolina, especially where you can do a OJT. It's called a on the job training, right? Where you can find a master barber instructor in your area and you can pay him to cut in his shop and make money and essentially your tuition would be your booth rate, right? So one of the mistakes I made early in, um, in starting out barbering was, man, I fell in love with the shiny toys, you know? Like I went out, I bought, you know, Andy's Super ZR. I got, you know, I got all the, all the, 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 all the detachable clips and everything, you know, I keep it turned over, but I bought all of these detachable clips, you know, and I, you know, I, I faded, I faded, I used them, faded with them, you know, did whatever I could do with them, you know, but first thing I did when I got, when I got here, first thing that happened was my instructor, he told me to just go ahead and get back to the basics, right? So now, one of the tools that I use more than anything is my master. I went back to my master. My Anders master. I got two of them. I got two of them. And the, uh, my Andes trimmers. Got a couple of them. Now, this one is the, you know, the modified version so I could get in different spots. This is my hitter trimmer. You gotta have a hitter. This is my hitter trimmer. And this is the one I use on kids most of the time. And, uh, something else that really Help me a lot is the Anders Slimline Pro. I use this. This is why I do my like the base. My first time lining up on every lineup, the first thing I do, I hit them with the, uh, with the with this right here, and then I go back and I clean up with my header trim. Um, this is it, it, it's hard, man. And I'm inviting y'all on my barber journey. It's gonna take about 10 months for me to get you know the the 1900 hours that I need. Um, to go ahead and take my barber test and, 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 get, and get my license and become a fully registered barber. So this is not a tutorial. I'm not yet a professional. I'm learning under a professional. I'm not yet a professional. So this is not a tutorial. This is just an invitation for y'all to come on with me on my whole barber journey, man. And at some point, yeah, I do plan to be posting videos and showing cuts and, you know, really displaying my work. But the first thing I'm going to do is introduce myself and invite y'all again on my barber journey. This is my chair right here. This is my chair right here. Now, what happened was, I got a cousin, man. Um, his name is William Melvin, and he owns Avant William Stylus. Um, so, uh, there's a few locations, well, actually, like eight locations across the country. And um, when he found out that I was cutting hair, because he and I started together back in the day, and um, when he found out that I was cutting hair, man, he came up to see me and he donated that chair to me. So. A lot of what I have is because people believe in me, they've been looking out for me throughout the process. And that's what happens when you turn your life around and you decide to do the right thing. So, come on y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'll be inviting y'all in. And peace.